in other news, on a lighter note, while the, Olymp the Winter Olympics are coming up in February, and we're all getting excited for that, and there's world-class athletic training happening again at the Pettit National Ice Center, one of the two indoor Olympic training facilities in the nation. Stormwatch caught up with Olympic speed skater Trevor Marsicano on the ice. Let's watch it. Trevor Marsicano first moved to Wisconsin in 2008 to pursue his speed skating career where he trains at the Pettit National Ice Center here in Milwaukee, one of the two close rank Olympic training facilities here in America. As I plan to compete at least through this next Olympics and then uh, at that point I'll reassess, you know, like my health, my injuries and you know, I mean, I would like to continue on to the next Olympics, but I know I'll have to see if the body will allow me to. A uh, typical training day at the Pettit here would be, you know, I wake up in the morning and uh, I'd come here, you know, skate the 9 to 11 o'clock session, you know, pretty much, you know, skate anywhere from an hour to two hours, depending on the workout and the intensity level. And uh, I'll do anywhere from, you know, it's 10 laps if it's like speed work and high intensity work to 50 to 60 laps if it's supposed to be endurance work. Uh, what goes through my mind uh, when I practice is just all the technical elements I need to achieve. I mean, and, uh, and on race day, uh, this might seem kind of goofy, but I try to visualize myself as the Hulk just because, you know, big, powerful, strong, and just kind of something funny to kind of get my mind off of the pressure and everything. In 2004, Trevor suffered a serious leg injury after an accident with a fellow skater. It took Trevor three months before he could skate again and one full year before he regained all of his strength back. What motivates me to skate is, uh, I mean, a lot of people say it's a gold medal, but for me it's, uh, it's uh, the ability to um, build a platform for anti-bullying and anything else. Just kind of, this is like the first stage, hopefully, to something bigger and better and I would like to make a bigger impact than just sport, so I guess that's that's what motivates me is just to be able to impact people on a bigger level. Yeah, after the 2010 Olympics, I decided to go around the schools and actually I've been to about 50 schools and do an anti-bullying campaign because that's something that really affected me when I was younger. We also asked Trevor if he had any advice for young aspiring speed skaters. One piece of advice I would give uh, aspiring athletes to be in the Winter Olympics would be to uh, don't underestimate um, don't underestimate hard work because every coach you find is going to tell you to work hard but more importantly don't underestimate smart work you know it's not it's not important that you train yourself into the ground because then you're not going to be able to recover and pop back up I think that's a huge mistake a lot of uh, coaches athletes even myself makes you know almost every year so just remember to train hard but also to train smart and Keep your mind active and just don't don't put all your eggs in one basket. Make sure you have other options, you know, whether it be schooling, work, you know, learning. You know, like I try and learn how to play the guitar, just kind of do something different and educational. So just uh, keep your options open. Well, the Hulk seems more like the Flash to me. Trevor wasn't wasting any time taking those laps out there. And you can watch him compete for the gold in February for the United States.